Hey guys, Jason here. Today I'm going to show you how to test the lid switch on a Kenmore washer. You might need to test the switch if your washer will not run. Before we get started, take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more repair guides to help you do it yourself. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll need a multimeter and a putty knife. While you're getting those together, please remember to keep safety first. The test we'll be doing today doesn't require the unit to be connected to power, so go ahead and pull that plug. You'll also want to turn off the water supply. We're going to need to get into the console, so you need to use a putty knife here. On the left and right sides, you'll see a clip that holds the console to the cabinet. Slide the putty knife under the console about an inch from each end, then push the clip towards the back of the machine. While gently prying up and pulling forward to release one side, you need to do the same to the other side and flip the console over. Now we can access the lid switch to test it. The lid switch is there for safety. When the lid is open, the motor will not run, but it will fill with water, so the lid needs to be closed to start the agitation cycle. This prevents someone from getting injured from reaching in the washer while it's spinning or agitating. Alright, there are three wires going to the lid switch. Our unit has a gray, a white wire, and a green wire. You're going to want to remember the terminals of the gray and white wires when you disconnect the harness. The green wire is just a ground wire and isn't going to be tested. Now take your multimeter and set it to the continuity setting, which looks like a sideways Wi-Fi symbol. Then put one probe from your multimeter on the terminal where the gray wire was and the other probe on the terminal where the white wire was. With the washer lid closed, your meter should read continuity, and with the lid open, you should not have continuity. When you're done testing the switch, plug it back in. Then slide the tabs into the bottom of the console into the holes in the top of the cabinet. After that, just push down the console till it locks in place and you're done. Don't forget to plug the washer back in or turn your breaker back on, as well as turning the water supply back on. If you need a replacement lid switch, head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to get a new one. Most orders arrive in two business days, and we have tons of videos to help you install your new parts. In the meantime, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you'll see all our newest videos. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.